Hi, I'm George, and I'm here inside of Minecraft Java in a mod, which is really just amazing. All kinds of new creatures in here, new structures, a lot of neat stuff. Let me just hit the E key here, and you can see the kind of additional stuff in here. Here's our standard inventory. We have six pages total. There's another page. Just go through a few of these things in here. Just tons and tons and tons of really neat stuff in this mod. Let's go back out of here. Take a quick look around. Here's an old ruin of a house. Different colored trees. You can see some tracking there for different entities, even things that are under the ground right down there. That kind of comes and goes. Now to run a mod like this, you need to have either Forge or Fabric installed. This one runs through Forge. So I'll show you how you can install Forge and also where you can find mods like this. Okay, switch over to the desktop and I'll bring up a browser window. Now two ways to use mods through Forge. You first need to install Forge here and then I'll show you my preferred way to get to the mods after this. I'll put this link in the description so you can just go right here and get right to this page. And this is for 1E Team 1 at the moment. Simply click on the installer and then download the installer to a new location on your computer. This is going to give you this little ad page. I have an ad blocker blocking that. Just look at the upper right hand corner. Wait for that countdown to say skip. Click on skip. You can then download this. Now I downloaded right here in a folder I set up just for this called Forge. It can be any place you want on your hard drive. doesn't matter. This is just a temporary place to store the jar file and choose save. I've already done that so I can close that out of the way. Let's now go to that folder location. It's right here. Now you're not going to see the log file. This comes in after the installation is done. So it'll then make the log file. This is just something which you can send to support if there's problems with the installation. This will tell the support staff everything that happened during the installation. Now you'll just have to double click on this. It's a jar file and it should automatically launch Java to install this for you. If this doesn't show a Java icon up here, you need to reset that for Java. The easiest way to do this is just to reinstall Java, and I'll put a link for that in the description as well. Or you could go in here and reset the options for this. Come down to Open With, and then look for the Java platform right here. If you don't see that, choose another app, and then click in here, and look for Java down in your list. And you should be able to find it down here someplace, and use that to always open up jar files. Okay, that's taken care of. If we double click on this, it's going to then run the installation. Now mine's already been installed, so I'm not going to continue with this after this point, but you don't really want to be installing for a client. This is on your own computer. If you're doing a server, you do the server version right there and click OK. It will then install that for you. Now the way that you know it's been installed properly and is working properly is you open up your Minecraft launcher. I'll go ahead and I'll do that right now. There we go, and you should see Forge right down here. If you're not seeing it there, if it's still showing 118.1 or whatever it is that you're playing, Click installations and you should see it in your list right down in here. You can also make sure that this is working just by clicking play and going to the title screen. We'll do that right now. And if it installed correctly, you'll see a mods button right down here and you'll see it say Forge over here left hand side. Now the most current version of Forge is in beta right here. You can see at the very top up there. So don't worry about that. And I have a still screen here. This is just my own customized title screen. I'll put the links for how I did this in the description. This is not part of Forge in here. But click on mods. This is part of Forge, and you'll see your mods over here, left hand side that have been installed. There we go. Now you can come down to the mods folder down here, brings up our standard mods folder, and then in here, you can have any mods that are installed for your version of Minecraft. I currently don't have anything which runs on 118.1 in here doing it this way, but I'll show you how you can do that. Now to get to this folder here, that's one way to do it. Then if you download a mod that is installed this way, simply drag the jar file into this folder right here that you get to from this open mods folder. There it is. You may have to close down and restart Minecraft for it to recognize that mod, but that's the easiest way to get to the folder. Okay, let's get rid of this. Click on done and I'll quit the game here. Okay, that's the basic way to run Forge. Let me show you where you can find mods. And I'll bring up a browser for that. And my favorite site for mods is right here at Curse Forge. Simply choose your game. We'll click on Minecraft right there. And right here, click at Mod Packs. There it is. And lots and lots of mod packs available in here. I'm going to change this down here to Minecraft 118.1, most recent version. And now these are different mod packs for 118.1. Notice that some of these run through Fabric, some run through Forge. And we're talking about Forge in this video. Lots of stuff in here. This is one way to do this. You can download these and then install it as I just showed you by putting it into that mods folder. Or you can do the easier way, which I actually like better, and that's to use the CurseForge installer app. There's a button over here that says install. This installs through the installer app. And you can find that right up here. It's a free app, no cost to that. And it's a fast install. And you can then do your search through there. Click on that download button here for Windows or for Mac and then install that app. Okay, get this out of the way here. And here we go. Notice that this also is in beta right now, so it's not totally finished. There may be some bugs here and there. 
that's okay. And then come over here, click on Browse Mod Packs. Same thing, you can choose which version you want to look for. I'll do 118.1 right here. You can choose the category, Adventure, Combat, Exploration, Extra Large, Magic, lots of stuff in here. You can sort by Featured, Popularity, Latest Updated. I did Popularity. And then scroll down and find the mod that you want to run. Then simply click on Install. It will then install it into the Curse Forge app and you use this app like a launcher. So go over here to the My Mod Packs section. There's the mod that I installed, UVision, which is kind of a combination of a bunch of other mods into one super mod. Really interesting. And then to play this, instead of using the Minecraft launcher, you just launch it right from here. It actually will take you through the Minecraft launcher going in this direction. So I'll click on play here. It's going to update that. Again, goes back into the Minecraft launcher, but it now has installed this into the Minecraft launcher. Just kind of a different way of going through. Notice down here, it's still the same version of Forge we had that installed, but it now says the UVision mod name, which you see right there. Click on play. So then launch that. Now, depending upon how complex the mod is, it may load very quickly or it may take a little longer to load than normal. This is a huge mod and it does take longer to load. So just be aware of that. And here at the title screen, notice that this mod does not use my custom resource packs. So I don't have my custom title screen on this one, but that's okay. The mod is worth it. Also notice down here, left-hand corner, it says UVision. This is the UVision mod. And again, this is in the Forge beta. So there may be some problems in there. They're going to be getting that locked down pretty soon. And again, if you want to go over here, click on mods. You can then choose the mod you want to run over here, left hand side. And this one has tons and tons of stuff that's included. I just go right into single player and we'll play up my new world here. I'm in a new world for this demo. And I'll load that back in again. This world has some experimental features. Obviously, we saw some of those things. So I just went ahead and I know what I'm doing. It's already basically a backup world anyway, so we'll get this thing loaded. Notice that it's not playing in my regular world, in my regular location, so it's not going to be causing any problems with that. It's separate from that. And here we are back in this new mod here, this new world. And again, this is running because we're running it on Forge. That's the gorilla back there. So there we go. We're now in a mod that runs through Forge and it just opens up a huge new world of possibilities in here. It'll take me a few months to play through this thing to really get an idea of how much is in here. But again, easy to see, or at least get a sense of what is in here just by hitting that E key and seeing how much the inventory has expanded. Here's your normal inventory. We've all seen this, nothing dramatic in here. Very nice, but let's switch over here. Here's page two of the inventory, backpacks, Alex's mobs, doggy talents. Here's some dog beds. More complex, more involved than we've seen in previous versions. There's that gorilla again, wandering around. So there you go. That's the kind of thing you can get into here if you need to install some of these mods and play around with these mods. This one requires that Forge is installed first, but as you just saw, easy to do, and it really opens up the world to a whole new range of possibilities for playing Minecraft. Okay, like this video, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.